Welcome to the October cold water challenge where I'll be attempting to do a cold water swim every single day. But why am I doing this? We'll get to that but first of all make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the amazing content I have got coming up over the next month. For those of you that don't know my name's Greg and I have loved wild swimming since I was a little kid and nothing makes me happier than jumping in cold water which is great for me because there are loads of benefits to it both physical and mental which I'll be exploring over the course of this month. So it's the 1st of October, the air temperature is 11 degrees, the water temperature is, well, cold. And before we go any further, it's time for me to get my kit off and get in. Serious brain freeze. Woo. I am pretty cold now and it's very windy down here. So I'm gonna get dressed and head up into the tree. Now time for the obligatory post-swim coffee. Oh, that's, that's hot. So the challenge is really simple. I need to fully immerse myself in cold water every single day in October. I can do this in a shower or a bath However, we're incredibly blessed to live really near the Peak District and have really easy access to some incredible swimming spots. So I'm gonna try and do most of them as wild swims. You can't beat a coffee after a cold swim. So back to why I'm doing this. Well, my parents and grandparents were long distance open water swimmers. And it's something my wife and I still love to do throughout the summer and me in winter, her a bit less so. In addition to this, we love to swim and explore streams, rivers, lakes, waterfalls, and the seas around the UK and anywhere we go in the world. So this is something that has been passed down to me from my parents and grandparents. And it's something that I want to pass on to my son, Fox, so he can enjoy the benefits of wild swimming all throughout his life. However, wild swimming in the UK is unfortunately at risk due to sewage being dumped in our rivers and seas at unprecedented levels, putting the ecology of those areas at major risk and also robbing future generations of the major benefits of wild swimming. This is why I'm joining the Surfers Against Sewage Dipper Day in October challenge to raise money and awareness about this issue. I'll post a short on YouTube and on TikTok every day from my daily dips. And I'll also do a weekly vlog post updating you on how the challenge is going and focusing on a specific area of one of the benefits of cold water and wild swimming. I've dropped a link as well in the description if you want to join the Dipper Day Facebook page and if you want some suggestions for great spots to do a bit of cold water swimming, check out my top 10 wild swimming spots in the Peak District. Please like this video, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of this challenge. Stay tuned guys and I'll see you on the next one.